Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at how we find the area under a curve using integration so we can answer questions from exercise 11H. So we saw this at the end of the lower sixth year but here we're just going to be doing it with harder integrals. So in this first case here we've got y equals 9 over the square root of 4 plus 3x. We have a boundary in between 0 to 4 on the x-axis there, and we're asked to find the area underneath the curve that's bounded by the curve line and the x-axis and those two boundary lines of 0 and 4. So we all know how to do this. All we need to do is put the function inside an integral between the boundaries of 4 down to 0. Okay, so upper boundary 4 goes on the top, 0 goes on the bottom, and then after we've integrated, we substitute in 4, and then we subtract 0 substituted in. So let's go ahead and get started with this integral then. So the first thing I see here is that I've got a lot of stuff underneath this square root here, and that signals to me that I'm going to be using a substitution. A substitution of whatever is inside that square root symbol, so I can just sub uh, simplify it to u to the power of a half. So u here is going to turn into 4 plus 3x. But remember, whenever I make a substitution, I also have to substitute the dx part here. So differentiating our substitution and then rearranging a little bit will make dx equal a third du. So now I'm going to replace all of this part down here with u and I'm going to replace dx with what dx is from rearranging our substitution. Now, in this case here, it's going to turn into 9 over the square root of u times a third du. But now remember that our boundaries are the next part of this problem that we're going to have to change using our substitution. At the moment, these are x-coordinate boundaries, x equals 0 to x equals 4. If we want to integrate with respect to u, we're going to have to change these boundaries into something with respect to u. So the next part of our problem is to change the 4 and the 0 using these boundaries. So replacing x with 4, in the first case we get 16. 3 times 4 is 12, plus another 4, that gives us 16. And replacing u, so and replacing x with a 0 value now gets us u equals 4. So the new boundaries are going to be 16 and 4. And how did we work them out? We worked them out straight from the substitution. And what I've done inside the integral here is I've tidied stuff up a little bit. 9 can cancel out and simplify with the 3. And then the u to the power of minus a half is what the power is going to be on the u. Minus because it's on the bottom of a fraction and half because it's inside a square root. Now I'm going to do my integration. Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power. So in this case here, the minus half is going to increase to a half, and I'm going to divide by a half. 3 divided by a half is 6. Then my boundary is going to be between 16 and 4. Notice here how when you're doing the integration, you're changing the boundary, you actually don't have to substitute 4 plus 3x back in. I now know that my u boundaries are 16 and 4, so I'm just going to substitute 16 and 4 into the value for u here. So substitute the boundaries in, do your calculation, and you get 12 units squared. So there we are. That's how we do this type of problem here then. A more difficult type of problem here might be one where you've got to find the region in between two different curves. So for example here we've got an f of x curve here that is sine 2x and then this blue one here is sine cos squared x and we want to find the area that's in between the two curves here. Now what we're going to do in this case is we're going to work out the whole of the area under the f curve all the way down to the x-axis uh, line and then take away all of the area that's underneath the blue curve. That way we're taking away a bigger area and a, taking a smaller area away from a bigger area uh, that will leave us just with the area that we're looking for. So we're going to do the, the area underneath the red curve first, take away the area under the blue curve. Now as long as we are using exactly the same limits, we can actually do this all in one go. We can take away the function one away from the other, um, and then that will be our integral that we're going to work out. So in this question here, we're going to be working out the integral of sine 2x, that was the one that was on top, this one here, take away sine cos squared x, 
that was the one on the bottom. And as long as they're both in between the boundary of 0 to pi by 2, then that is fine. We could do it one integral, take away another integral, that would be fine as well. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to do this in two separate parts. We're going to integrate the first part first and well, the second part second. The first part, that's just going to be using some standard integration rules. We're going to use the sine cos minus sine minus cos circle of differentiation in reverse. So sine is going to integrate to minus cos and we don't times by 2 to the front, we divide by the 2 to the front. So it's now going to be minus a half cos 2x in between the boundary of pi by 2 to 0. With the bit on the end here, this is going to be a little bit more complicated to integrate this. I think what we'd probably best off doing here is integrating using a substitution of u equals cos. And remember, whenever we integrate using a substitution, we have to integrate, we have to change the dx term as well. So if du by dx is minus sine x using this differentiation circle here, then dx is minus 1 over sine du. So in this case here, it's going to be take away because there's a take away sine in between the sine 2x and the sine cos squared. In between the boundary of x equals pi by 2 down to x equals 0 of sine x, u squared. Remember, we replaced the cos for u. So this is now u squared times by the dx term. And the dx term is minus 1 over sine x du. And notice here how the sines on the top and the bottom here can cancel each other out. So all we've got here now is u squared du. We could even move the minus symbol out to the front and cancel out that minus symbol there. So two negatives will make a positive now at the front of that integral. As we've seen before, though, the only thing that we've got left to do now is to replace these x boundaries with some y coordinate boundaries. So the next thing for us to do is to change the limit. If x is pi by 2 and u equals cos x as our substitution, then u is going to be 0. And in the last case where x equals 0, u is going to be 1. And it does look a bit strange that we've got the smaller term on the top and the bigger term on the bottom. Don't be worried about that. I mean, yes, it doesn't look great, but it, actually the maths is going to come out fine with that being the case. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to now integrate this term on the right hand side. So increase the power by one, divide by the new power in between limits of zero and one. And now that we've integrated both the components, we can now substitute them in. Notice here how we don't need to bring back in the cos substitution here because we have changed the limits into u limits, which can be substituted into u functions. So now we're going to substitute in. So pi by 2 gets substituted in, and then we take away 0 being substituted in. And on the last term here, we're going to substitute 0 in and then take away 1 being substituted in. And when we do all of this calculation here, we end up with 2 thirds being the area in between, remember that red curve and the blue curve. OK, so there we are. That's how we do these sorts of questions here. Pause the video and try this question here out. OK, so this doesn't really look like a area type question, but remember, whenever you've got a, uh, an integral that looks like this, you are effectively working out the area underneath this curve here in between the x coordinate boundaries of 0 and pi by 6 and the x axis. Um, but how would we do this integral here? I'm not quite liking what's inside this, um, this square root here. So I think I'll make a substitution and replace all of what I've got inside there with the letter u. And remember, whenever I do a substitution, I need to replace the dx term as well. So this is going to be replaced with dx equals 1 over 2 cos x du. So what's my integral now going to look like? Well, it's going to have an x-coordinate boundary of pi by 6 and an x-coordinate boundary of 0. I'll deal with them in a second. And then it's going to be cos x u to the power of a half times by dx term, which is 1 over 2 cos x du. 
Now the cos terms cancel out here. That's our one. That's one method that we're going to use to simplify our integral here. But we also need to change the boundary terms on our integral here. So if u is equal to um, 2x plus 1, then when we substitute in pi by 6, well pi by 6 is 30 degrees, so 2 times a half is 1 plus another 1, that gives me 2, and then when I substitute in 0, sine of 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, plus the 1, I get 1. So now my new boundary here is going to be from 2 to 1, and it's going to be, we've got the half in there, don't forget that, I'm going to pull that out to the front, and then it's just going to be u to the power of a half, du. So what we'll get eventually is increasing the power by 1, and then dividing by the new power, in between the boundary of 2 and 1, let's simplify what we've got here first, those 2's will cancel, so it'll just be a third u to the 3 over 2, 2 to 1. Substituting in 2 first, that's going to be the square root of 8 over 3 minus third. So it's going to be the square root of 8 minus 1 all over 3. And there we are, that's the answer to that question there. Then we've worked out the area in between this curve, uh, the line for this curve, the x equals 0 boundary, the x equals pi by 6 boundary, and the x axis. Um, boundary as well. So this is in unit squared. Okay, so there we are. Have a go at plenty of the questions from exercise 11H. Have a go at those exam style questions, the problem solving style questions, and particularly ones where, you're, where you've got a region trapped in, beside, in between two integrals. They're the tough ones, so challenge yourself on those. If you get stuck, ask your teacher for help, and thanks very much for watching.